Hey guys, here are all your quick five questions for evolution, which is the last section in your AQA biology. Remember, if you want a hard copy for this, loads and loads of other stuff for your exams, you can get that in the free revision guide over on my website. An ecosystem is a community of organisms and their environment. A community is a group of people, plants, animals, all living in the same place. Interdependence is where two or more organisms are dependent upon each other. Competition is where a number of different organisms are competing for the same resource. An organism needs a range of different things to um, survive and reproduce. Water and food are going to be the most essential things. Air is going to be made up of several different gases. This could be the oxygen, the carbon dioxide. Um, sunlight is going to be for warmth and plants need it for energy. And we're going to need a habitat that is suitable. Organisms, again, are going to compete for a number of different things. This is going to be um, the availability of water, the availability of food, um, potentially the availability of light when we come to plants. Um, it's going to be space as well. Abiotic factors are non-living chemical or physical components that affect the living organisms and the ecosystem. There are eight different abiotic factors you need to recall. Light intensity, temperature, water levels, pH, iron concentration, wind, carbon dioxide and oxygen. A change in abiotic factors can have a drastic effect on a community. If you change the temperature, it could be too hot or too cold for an organism to survive. If you remove water, um, animals not, might not be able to drink enough and thus die. Or if you increase the water levels, there might be flooding. So it can have a drastic, dramatic, wide-ranging effect on a community. Biotic factors are the living parts of an ecosystem. A change in the levels of food, the levels of predators um, or pathogens in a community, again, can have a devastating effect on um, an ecosystem or it can have a transformative effect on an ecosystem. Three biotic factors could be food, predators or pathogens. Adaptation is a change in characteristics to suit the environment. Animals need to adapt so that they can survive. An extremophile is an organism that likes extreme conditions. A plant adaptation could be widespreading but shallow roots to collect water or spines on a cactus. An animal adaptation could be the colour of the fur, it could be the teeth, the beak or it could be humps to store fat. The energy in a food chain, all at the beginning, comes from the sun. A producer is an organism, generally a green plant or a bacteria, which is at the bottom, the first part of a food chain. A primary consumer is going to be a herbivore that feeds on plants. A secondary consumer and tertiary consumer are going to be carnivores or omnivores, carnivores who just feed on other animals, omnivores who feed on plants and animals. Tertiary consumers are generally going to be the topmost level in a food chain. A prey is an animal that is caught and eaten. Biodiversity is a variety of animal and plant life in the world or habitat. Biodiversity is the foundation of a healthy ecosystem which is very important for um, human well-being and life on earth. Pollution is a chemical or a compound which has harmful or poisonous effects. One of the impacts that pollution can have on plants is, for example, acid rain, where the water um, is becomes too acidic and it's going to affect the leaves. An example where pollution can affect animals is going to be changing habitats, um, for example, the moths that change colour to fit in with the polluted trees which turn black. Humans generally dictate land usage. For example, we chop down large swathes of rainforest to put fields in. Deforestation can have a devastating impact on the land. The roots from the trees generally keep the soil in place. If the trees aren't there to keep the soil in place, the soil will generally wash away, um, leaving the earth barren.
there are lots of reasons for deforestation. This could be that people want to use the wood from the trees for something, or they want to use the land for something. The consequences of global warming are climate change, is that places um, are changing temperature, the amount of rain that is falling is changing, and the amount of snow is changing. There are lots of gases that contribute to global warming, carbon dioxide, water, and methane being the main ones. Decay is where an organic matter um, is going to decompose through bacteria or fungi. When something decomposes, it becomes rotten and breaks down. Temperature will affect decomposition because the hotter it is, the faster it will go. Bacteria and fungi, most of them need oxygen to um, undertake decomposition. So if it's in an oxygen-free atmosphere, decomposition and decay won't happen. Again, water is essential for decomposition and decay to happen. If something is in a very dry, if water has been removed from the atmosphere, that won't happen. Whenever you have something decaying or decomposition, um, there is going to be a mixture of methane and carbon dioxide produced, and this is going to be your biogas. Biodiversity is a variety of species in an ecosystem. Trophic levels are different stages in a food chain. A decomposer's role is to break down any organic material. In a food chain between trophic levels, energy is going to be lost um, from movement, respiration, um, through waste, so faeces and urine. Food security is having a reliable source of affordable food. We can increase the efficiency of food production by using fertilisers and pesticides. Microorganisms can be cultured for food, for example, mycoprotein is a large um, protein which we can eat.